Uh, my favorite detail yeah, of the whole he's, thing. He's impotent. That the and woman canceled because his balls got too big. Then what happened to your balls? Starring oh. Richard Gere and Holly Hunter. Yeah. Yeah. My balls too damn big. <laughs> balls yeah. too damn big. I typed it the up. The balls is too damn big. I typed it up and sent it to a couple of group chats, but I had an idea. I was sitting with mm-hmm. Steven for lunch for a movie. Mm-hmm. And I think you could do it, but it's okay. called Me Play Joke. Mm. And it's, you, it's, you gotta get Matthew Perry. <laughs> okay. It's a romantic comedy. <laughs> <laughs> and it opens, we play joke. Okay. And Matthew Perry is like a kind of like a mid tier like you know municipal worker in the uh-huh. state in the city. Okay. And uh, he's out to dinner at Kanji Village with some you know friends from college and work, celebrating the death of his son. <laughs> <laughs> he releases him from child support, which has been hanging over his head for right. ten oh, years. Wow. He hasn't paid any of it. Right. And he's like, "How that, does that work? If that kid- debt is gone, <laughs> I don't know it." You know. Wow. And so he's celebrating, and he's <laughs> he's also ten years sober because that's the drinking led to his divorce. And he's like, "I can celebrate." You know, he's like, "Fuck I it." Can with you could have one. He's like, "Yeah, let me." Get some gets it around the sake, and they're like, "That's Jap. This is a Chinese restaurant." He's like, right. "I don't fucking know the difference." Yeah, yeah, fuck you. And yeah, and so at dinner, one of his coworkers is like a Vietnamese guy, and it's his mom's birthday or something. And he's like, "Ah, he's like, I gotta take this call," mm-hmm. and he's on the phone, and he's like, "Chong rock bad ling ling no wait," you know, and then Vietnamese, and then Matthew Perry's drunk, you know, right? And he hasn't been drunk in years, and so he's like, "Ah, wola bawa," you know, like making fun of right. And, you know, they're like, stop, stop. What Chill, the fuck dude, are you doing? The and then a Chinese woman, <laughs> no, like at a table over, mm-hmm. like turns to him and she's like, Ching bao wei bao yet? you know, like starts speaking right. to him in Chinese. And he's like, uh, I'm I'm really sorry. I was just trying to bust my friend's balls or whatever. Yeah. And she's like, oh, no, it's just your your Mandarin is remarkable for a, a non-native. Well, speaker. your accent is perfect. Wow. He's like, it's perfect. And then he's like. You know, he's like, oh, she's like, and she's like, call me sometime. And she like right. gives him his number. Right. And he asks his friend, he's like, was I speaking Chinese? And the guy's like, I'm Vietnamese. Again, I'm Vietnamese. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Saki is Japanese. Yeah. I'm Vietnamese. I'm not sure. I if you're don't. Speaking I, Chinese. I have no idea. <laughs> and then so he takes a chance, and he calls the lady, and right. you know, um, they agree to like meet up, and she's like, so like. Yeah, it's incredible that you speak Chinese. And he's like, yeah. And then she's like, she says something to him in Chinese and he doesn't like, he like tries to respond. He's like, bing. And she's like, what? You know? And then he's, he's like, drunk. oh, excuse me for a second. Yeah, he has to get yes. drunk. So he gets drunk. He goes in the bathroom. And he's like, you can do this. Right. You know, and they're at dinner. And he gets trashed in the bathroom off like hand sanitizer. Right, or Ian's finance style. Yeah. <laughs> and he mm-hmm. comes back out and he's like, "Ah, oh, bougieing, well, but you know." And she's like enamored, and he's yeah. like speaking Chinese. And then so we have this whole like scene where he's they're kind of like building this romance together, mm-hmm. you know. And he's speaking Chinese, and his friends are concerned. They're like, you know, Matt. Matthew Perry. Yeah, Matthew Perry, the, you're uh, drinking the, again. The character, not that you know, it's the, the true story of your life. He's playing <laughs> himself. Yeah, he's, he's like, they're like, he's playing himself from 20 years ago. Yeah, early. they're like, dude, you're a complete fucking alcoholic. That, like, this is right. like really worried about mm-hmm. you. And he's like, hey, I'm fucking, I'm finally free of this bullshit of my past life. My child is finally I'm getting damn. Asian pussy for the I'm first g- time. <laughs> I'm in love. I'm in love, and I'm not going to let you And fucking, I know Chinese. I'm not going to let you fucking <laughs> faggots rain on my parade. <laughs> and they're like, it doesn't make sense that you're speaking Chinese or whatever. Yeah. And then so, like, the romance is building, and then one day he goes to her apartment to see her, and the apartment's like, you know, he, like, knocks on the door, and it just opens, and it's, like, completely empty. Mm. Oh, no. And, and Wei Ling is gone. Oh, no. And he's like, what the fuck? And he's like, he's like, you know, did she leave or something? So he's like, I got to write her a note. So he runs to, like, the corner <laughs> store and gets a couple of, like, little, like, little airport shooters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so he starts drinking, and then... Uh, like he's like, sc- like, like as he's drinking out on the street and he's writing this note, like all the street lights go off, oh, like everything. There's like a whole blackout in the city, and he's not thinking about it. He just scrawls a bunch of like we see him scribbling some Chinese nonsense mm-hmm. on like, uh, and he just wedges it in the door, <coughs> and then he's like really drunk, so he just goes home to sleep it off. And then, bang, 4 a.m., doors kick down, FBI, wow. Department of oh, Homeland no. Security. And they're like, where the fuck, where the fuck were you last night? You know, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then he's arrested and thrown in jail. He's like, what did I, what the fuck did I do? What did I do? 
And then he's arrested. Wailing turns out to be a Communist Party spy. Wow. Ex- guy was getting him drunk and exploiting. He got his his access to the, like, his municipal power grid. Right. They can de- destroy the power grid in New York. So he didn't know Chinese. So he didn't know Chinese. <laughs> and on top of that, he finds out that he does, in fact, still owe child support. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> the debt doesn't go away because the, the child dies. Because the child died, so now he <laughs> and the ex-wife has already gotten a lien on it. So his money's gone. Right. Oh my he god. Everything's nothing. falling apart. And then he's sitting in jail, and you know his friends are like, "Well, we have, we don't know how to help you, dude. Like we warned you. It's like we should probably we got to look out for ourselves. We can't be talking to you because you're accused of treason. Yeah. Basically. Right. Which you get the death penalty. For and that. he's in his cell, and then. An Asian woman comes in dressed, you know, in like a lawyer's suit. And he's like, Wei Ling? And she's like, no, uh, no my name is No, Tina. I'm a public defender. I'm a, you're a public defender. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm Taiwanese. Yeah, I'm a, a completely different person. And he's like, he's like, what's going on? They're like, well, you know, you've been uh, like accused of, you know, she tells him what's up. And... uh He's, <laughs> you know, and she at first she finds him to be like this boorish alcoholic, of and then she's like, "Yeah, I mean, it's pretty stupid and racist to think that you know." And yeah. He's like, and then they he's like explaining to her, he's like, "I didn't do this." He's like, "You have to understand, all I ever wanted my entire life was to get pussy from an Asian girl." Right. And I'm like, I've been a fucking loser for a loser. Mm-hmm. Been and a father. Friends has been off the air for six years it, at this point. Yeah, I'm a fucking all drunk. I wanted to do, and then you know, and he's like, "Yeah, I feel like yeah." So yeah, to a certain extent, like you know, I'm a fraud. I get it, but you know, and then she tries to relate to him, you know, that her grandfather had to pretend to be Japanese to get around the Chinese Exclusion Act. Mm. You know, so you know, it's like you do what you got to do, right? And then he's like, "What's the difference?" And she's like <laughs> mad, and then he's like, "Cause they're all beautiful." And then she's wow. like, "Wow, I think I'm falling in love." <laughs> I'm falling in love with this guy. He must be innocent, right? Of course. And then, so the state's like key piece of evidence is the note that they have him leaving on Wailing's door, right. you know, which proves <laughs> some collusion. Mm-hmm. And uh, because it is like it sort of looks like Chinese, but it's like it doesn't make any sense. They can't mm-hmm. tell what it says. They can't tell. They think it's code. And so uh, <laughs> he takes he takes the the public defender out to Kanji Village, and she the where they went the first night, right. and she realizes that he's the, their menu <laughs> items from Kanji <laughs> Village oh. that he sort of just so drunk. he sort of can speak Chinese. No, he just, no, he just remembered. He just remembered a okay. couple. Okay. Of okay. Okay. They're just okay. in his subconscious. From, in his subconscious. That, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. And then she proves that it's just the menu from Kanji Village or whatever scrolled on there, mm-hmm. and he gets off. And no child support either? And, uh, and uh, no, it's just, he just ignores it. And, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, uh, <laughs> no, no, sorry, he doesn't ignore it. What it turns out is that, that Tina, the public defender, her family is a bunch of Chinese billionaires, so mm. oh, he nice. just lives mm. off her and he decides to keep drinking. That's awesome. And then we close on, it's a year later, and mm-hmm. he's like meeting, her, he's like going over to her parents' house and taking off his shoes and just speaking like perfect Mandarin. That's wow. awesome. Is it drunk. And it's called Me Play Joke. <laughs> Me Play Joke. <laughs> Sorry, and man. And Wait, what's the I? titular joke? What? That he was, that that he he was fake Chinese. Chinese. Uh, fake yeah. Chinese. Wait, Nick, can I ask you a question? What? It, it, is any part of that... Uh, in, in in if you look in, inside of your own soul, yeah. is that a fantasy <laughs> yeah. for your no, own life? I'm perhaps not, you don't understand, Adam. I'm not a yellow fever guy. You, well, I'm just saying, like uh, you know, but you you've do been love sober for a long time. You haven't had alcohol. It for does a long seem time. to scratch a lot of you, itches. You, you love check a lot of Chinese boxes. culture. Well, in any artist, yeah, part of themselves. You, you're you're sharing. <laughs> certainly <laughs> part about falling off the wagon, and then the moral at the end of the story being. That you should continue drinking. <laughs> yeah. Know? Well, and I mean, it's not, honestly, it's not that much different than the best part of your life is when you live with the Chinese family. Uh-huh. And then this way you could marry into it and mm. be part of the family forever. Yeah. yeah. You don't have to be a mid level bureaucrat like you are right now. Yeah. As this is a government podcast, of course, yeah. that we're working of for. Of course. <laughs> this is the government. <laughs> <laughs> this is the government. Show me your pussy. You must send p- pussy <laughs> picture to. <laughs> Vikram government <laughs> at gmail.co.in. <laughs> oh, fuck. That's good, man. Me play joke was good. So, who are you thinking for 
like Sandra Wu and Aquafina? No. Sandra O. Oh. Sandra O. Oh. Yeah. I mean No, there's just somebody named Sandra Wu, isn't there? Uh probably. Check the phone book. There's yeah. somebody named Sandra Wu. <laughs> I made a post. Oh hell yeah! I just I went on my phone and it's still Mimi Rogers' breasts. <laughs> oh cool! You should make that your background. I might. Uh, here, here, here's the poster for it. <laughs> <laughs> Nick, I think this is a That's really this good. is an incredible three act. Yeah, Film. I guess it's not. She's not an actress. So that's that's Tina, the lawyer. And okay, that's, that's Wei Ling. Wei Ling looks like a mm. K-pop star. And that's Matthew Perry in the middle. Wow, wow, she's really hot. Yeah, yeah. there's an actress named something Wu. John Const- Wu, Constance Wu. I think maybe. No. That sounds right. Yeah, that's her name. Was she from? She's pretty hot. I don't know. Wu Han. She's all fresh off the boat. Oh. Oh, yeah. She is pretty hot. Yeah, what's up?